Hi, so something I want to do in um, sort of my home network is to uh, split my local area network and my wide area network. Um, not necessarily one to one, but both my server and my main desktop have a um, have two network uh, jacks on it. So my desktop has a one gig and a 2.5 and then my server has two 10 gigs. So what I want to do is have one of the 10 gigs and the one gig connected to um, a switch that has access to the wide area network. And then I want to have another switch for just the local area network for the one 10 gig and then the 2.5 gig. I both want connected to that. Now, obviously the 2.5 gig, um, like a like a 10 gig, a gig switch is not really a practical investment for me at the moment, but I do have this um, old billion, um, billion router. It's a 7300W and I want to flash the firmware on this to turn it into a network switch. So, so that way when I connect to like my shares or something like that over the network, then they will be going through this switch. Uh, I don't know if that's necessarily the best solution, but I just want to try it and see how it goes. At one point or another, I had them directly connected to each other, but um, the value of that was, it was a fun learning process, but I think now I want to try using it as, as a switch. Unfortunately, I couldn't find this listed on um, DDWRT or whatever's uh, website, which most routers aren't. And I couldn't necessarily find a direct, um, I couldn't find anything on the internet saying directly, yeah, you can use X version or, um, or what have you on on this model of router so I'm thinking I sort of have to just flash it and try I did see some um, videos alluding and and things like I did see some videos alluding to just being able to use the integrated software here as a switch simply by um, disabling the DHCP and things like that uh, but nothing came of that I, I fiddled around and um, nothing ever came of that because uh, this is a DSL router <laughs> presumably so what I have to do is so if anyone has any advice on which version of uh, DDWRT I'm supposed to flash this thing with that would be uh, that'll be great and then additionally if that doesn't work I like to sort of just connect my existing switch which is a real switch to this and see how that works but I thought I'd just get this out here in case anyone had any ideas on on specifically what I what uh, which version of DDWRT I could use, or if I need like, I don't know, I suppose I could look, uh, look also at um, like an open sense or a PF sense kind of solution. Um, I haven't dealt that deeply into it, but uh, this is definitely something that I want to experiment with, just for, just for fun and for learning, even if it doesn't really um, net any kind of positive outcome. What I'll probably end up doing is, if I do get this working as a functional switch, I'll probably then after that, abandon the um, the divided local area network and wide area network, like I said, and use both switches in combination, just as regular switches are used. And then I'll return back to uh, a direct link between my server and my desktop, because um, with the new version of Unray coming out, that's or at least when the final release comes out, that fully supports CFS and things like that. I know you can buy like the the RC6 version at the time of filming, but I want a stable launch be, um, before I upgrade. And then once I do, I'm going to delete my TrueNAS VM, import my TrueNAS, I've got to import my, uh, after that I'm going to delete my TrueNAS scale, no, my TrueNAS core VM. Um, import my pools into Unraid, and then I also have another 5 terabyte that's just going to be um, a ZFS file format with no redundancy, it'll just be a drive on its own. So I'll have that 5 terabyte on its own, which I'll use for large files and things like that, and then my two um, 4 terabyte hard drives, 4 terabyte drives, which will be redundant, so I'll only get about 4 terabytes out of those, well, maybe 3 and change. Uh, and then I have two SSDs, uh, two 128GB SSDs uh, that are SATA that I'm going to use as a cache drive. So hopefully that'll improve uh, the right performance enough to where I could justify um, connecting the 2.5 and the 10 gig directly. I'll probably see some benefit in some areas and then no benefit in others, but I can live with that, such as, um, such as life.
Um, another thing that I might also end up doing is just uh, if I find that I don't really need the extra ports for the switch, I will then. Oh, power just went out. I'll have to fix that. And then um, after that's done, um, or at least what I might end up doing in the long, long term though is using one of those open source ones, uh, like open. Uh, like pfsense or ddwrt and use this as a firewall it does say firewall on it already but that's probably in its router configuration so i'll have to poke around uh essentially so if anyone has any experience with like the default billion software or what i should latch onto this i would greatly appreciate it um but if not i'll sort of just figure it out and see where i go because i don't want to waste this hardware um and i can't really use it as an access point booster because I've got a Netgear 5 gigahertz um, or at least 5G router that I may as well use as, as an access point because it's much much faster and much much newer and I'm not going to use that as a switch because they're all one gig like this so I would be sacrificing its nice wireless functionality when I may as well just be using this so yeah, just a short video explaining what I plan on doing with this, and yeah, and stay tuned.